Hello and welcome back. Just checking that I'm in focus, which I am, which is always good. Today we are looking at something that I think is gonna change the way you operate with your FX6, your Sony FX3. And it's something that I thought was more known about than it actually is. Uh, it's really windy, just gonna shut that door. It's been a little while, I've absolutely been stacked out with work and I haven't had a chance to jump on since my last video, but thanks to all the new subscribers, great to see you. If you want more video content, behind the scenes stuff, lighting, anything to do with video, then you are in the right place. So please hit that subscribe as that's always appreciated. So Zion sent me out the Molus X100 and the 5-Ray, I think it's the 20 watt RGB little light, which is wicked, loving them both. I'm actually using them to light this scene today. I think we've only got the Molus X100 on about 6% the camera. The light is incredibly bright. They're both incredibly bright. I've used them across a few little shorts, which has been really cool. I'm gonna have a video on those in the next week or so. We're gonna be talking about that. And also I have my review and videos on the Nisi Athena Prime lenses. I've been working with Nisi with their filters and stuff like that. So I'm really buzzing to get that video out because I've been using them for a while on different shoots, just testing them out and seeing what is going on with them. And yeah, I'm actually loving them so far, but I wanna share with you guys what is going down with them so like i say it's something that i thought was more known about than it actually is and it's the new sony monitoring and control app now sony did previously have an app called creator app which i still think connects to the a7 range of cameras but for the fx line of cameras they've now transferred over to the monitoring and control app now i've been using this on the fx3 for quite a while now it works really well there is no bugs when you're connecting to it once you've set up the cameras and connected your fx3 or fx6 whatever you're doing to it it remembers them so as soon as you turn the camera on you just hit connect on the app and it it connects every time I've not had a problem that was one big problem when I used to use the old app it was just so buggy and annoying it would forget cameras I wouldn't be able to connect but this new app is really solid and I've got to give props out to Sony for doing this now this kind of app isn't a new thing uh, red cameras have had control apps for a while but it's really good that Sony have jumped on board with this because I think it just opens up using this camera. For instance, I can happily light scenes now and take the iPad around and just change settings and dial everything in as I want. Super easy without having to come around the back of the camera, look at the camera and stuff like that. They've recently brought out an update. So you need to update your firmware on your FX6 to new firmware 5.01 and make sure that the monitoring and control app is version 2.0. Get that right before you do any of this. Follow the little links that I'll leave below so you can figure out how to update your camera and update the monitoring control app before you set any of this up. Once you've set all this up, you can now easily connect to your FX6, which makes it a game changer when you're out on shoots. Now, obviously I use external monitors, but having this new monitoring and control app actually is incredible because it gives you full access, full control to the whole camera. You can press record from there, you can change ISO, you can change white balance, you can touch focus on the screen, you've got false colors, histogram waveforms, you can change any LUTs while you're doing whatever you're doing. It's just a real game changer in my honest opinion and I think more people need to know about it because there's a lot of people out there who I talk to this people about this app and they haven't got a clue what I'm talking about so I thought I'll make a little video on it. Now companies like Red Cameras have been using apps with their cameras for quite a while and I was just like right Red have that, Sony have this and it's a game changer so it's not it's nothing new but it's kind of like Sony have finally jumped on board for their cinema cameras and now you have full access and full control from something like an iPhone or a tablet which I am using, I am using an Apple iPad for controlling the camera. 
and this is just really useful when you're on shoots. Now, obviously, like I say, I have an external monitor that goes on top of my Sony FX6, but now this is really useful because actually if I want to travel lighter when I'm shooting, I can just pack the small body of the FX3 <laughs> or the FX6 and just take my iPad and actually just shoot with that. So it's an absolute game changer. I've said game changer about a thousand times. I'm going to leave links to how you connect this app, where you get it, the new firmwares, so you can just download it, follow along, get your camera online. It's going to change the game for you. Um, like I say, this video was not going to be long. It was just something that I wanted to make people aware of because nobody knows about it. No, well, most of the people I talk to don't know about it. So get it on your camera and it will change your game, especially if you're doing vlogging, YouTubing, stuff like that, being able to see yourself like I'm looking at myself in the screen really good um, and it'll just help you set up things super quick let me know how you're getting on with it in the comments below because i'd love to know what you think about it because i absolutely love it i'll see you on another video soon we've got new ones coming out like i said at the start of the video so cheers again for tuning in and guys have a wicked weekend um, enjoy the sun while it's here we've just got some sun in the uk absolutely great um, but i think it's raining again this weekend not great um so yeah thanks for tuning in i'll see you on another video soon peace out it's psychox this is psychox and you're on my youtube video i'm just recording a youtube video and now we're talking on the camera i was actually gonna say two things we need to go and you're like a little recce with me for this shoot and it's the second issue i'll play some golf Ooh. Golf and Ricky. I'd love to do that, but I don't have a car today. <laughs>